So when you will ask in an interview that what is the role of the function in the Sortie smart contract? So this is how you have to answer this question. Okay, a function is basically a group of code that can be reused anywhere in the program, which generally save the excessive use of memory and decrease the runtime of the program. So creating a function reduces the need of writing the same code over and over again. With the help of the function, a program can be divided into a small piece of code for a better understanding. Okay, so this is the explanation you can provide to your interviewer, the person who is taking your interview. Now they might be ask you that what kind of function we have in Sorty Smart Contract. So there is one function declarative function and there is a non declarative function so this is the code snippet for the function we have so we have the function keyword then we have the name of the function and inside that we can easily be able to pass multiple parameters it's totally up to you that what you want to do with the function then we have the scope that whether you want to make it public external internal then we have a return keyboard and if you you can add multiple parameters like this here okay and there are a couple of more function we have in sorting programming like we have modifying state variable okay we have events we have creating other contract we are using self destruct sending ether via calls calling function with mark pure and view okay so these are the couple of function you can create and there is a lot of things you can do with a function okay so that's the general overview i want to give you about the function in sortie and let's try to have a look in practical way okay so here we are back into a remix id so let's create a contract so i'll call it learn function okay Right now, I'm just giving you basic examples of function, but we're going to have a detailed discussion when we write actual real world smart contract. You will see that how life saving it is. Okay, so here we'll take a variable called UNT and I'll say public and I will say hey. So initially, I don't want to assign any value to this, but I want to do it with the help of function. Okay, so get data with the help of function. Okay, so I want to check the function. So right now, I'm using this function to check the data of this UNT. Okay, so I'll take get info and public view and return okay so the reason why i have used this view keyword because i want to look at the state variable and the return you can pass multiple parameter in the function and i want to return this unt 256 okay and now i want to simply return this data okay hey so this is the simple function which allow me to see the data of the state variable okay that's the simple function we have and this function can be more complex you can have function inside another function which can check certain condition okay we're going to do all that but just have a look that how you can write a simple function which can do a simple thing okay so let's delete this one let's try to deploy the contract and let's try to have a look so here we have this hey and get info okay so if i click on this get so before i do that click on this get info i can see zero we have here if i call this simple get info i'll get this zero okay so this is how we can retrieve the data now simply come here and let's replicate this and I will delete this and this time we don't want to make it public okay deploy this one and you can see right now we have this get info if I click I can easily be able to see the data of this okay so it's looking fine so hope this making sense this is how you can retrieve the data of the state variable with the help of function now let's write a one more function which allow us to update the data okay so we'll say update data in that we're going to pass the data which you want to update public okay so this time we try to change the data change the state variable that's why we haven't add this any view or return statement you can return that statement but i'm not going to return it because why should we should do that okay because i just want to focus one thing one at a time okay so let's update the data so that's what we have we can take hey and we're going to update it okay so this is how we can update the data with the help of function so let's come here click on this and let's try to deploy the contract okay and here i have to check the data so right now we have zero and now we have to update the data so in this we go to pass the value so let's pass six click on this transaction hit enter you can see here we got six no matter what value you will add it will keep adding and updating the data okay so that looks pretty fine let's keep updating the data okay so that's how you can use a function to update the data you can see keep updating keep updating so this is the updating we have and let's write to uh, one more function which we'll call get unt a plus b because we want to uh, do some operations okay so we're going to take a two number and we're going to sum it together and we're going to add to the state variable and we can do that as well with the function okay so we'll have this view return unt okay so what I will do, I will take this two number. So new number and this will come A plus B. And I want to simply return this number, new number, okay? So what I'm doing, I'm taking this two number from the users and I'm summing up together and I'm returning back, okay? So that's what I'm doing. Simply comment this and now let's deploy the contract. 
hit enter open up this here you can see here i have to pass this two number so the number i want to pass is five and six call this transaction here you can see here i got the output to 11 because of the return keyword i have used so you can perform this kind of mathematical calculations a lot of things you can do okay it will keep updating okay so this is the one example for simple using function to do some calculation within the function okay so hope this makes sense to all of you that that how things are happening now what i want to do is let's come here we're going to take this hey because that's the state variable we have and i want to update that data as well okay so we're going to say new number okay and i don't want to return this i want to return this hey but as you can see here i'm getting this error because i have used view keyword and view keyword is not allowed when you are changing the state variable okay we have a detailed discussion on this view keyword okay as well so what i will do i will simply come here i'm going to remove this view and now the error is gone and now we can easily able to change the data okay let's hit on deploy go back to the transactions and you can see if we pass this two data this four seven hit enter and if i open up the terminal you can see the logs there so let's come here and simply come here and make it this public so we can easily able to see have a getter function so we can check the value as well so let's bring this terminal down and let's redeploy the contract okay delete this one deploy the contract one more time and we have to pass this here you can see right this moment we have hey is to zero and if we pass this two number hit enter and here you can see we got right now you can see this is the log we got so this is the two number we have put, uh, put and the output we got is eight okay so this is the output we got eight okay this is the function we have called if you click on this hey you will get the eight as well okay so this is how you can perform operations in the functions and update the state variables okay so hope this makes sense to all of you that how you can create function in the smart contract again i'm telling you we're going to have a detailed discussion on each of these topics okay and now let me show you that how the abi would look like of this function okay because whenever you do will deploy the contract it will generate the abi based on the variables based on the data types function you have defined okay and that abi is very important because that's the abi is going to be run on the ethereum blockchain okay so let's copy that abi and let's simply paste here and here you can see we have all this data this we have all this abstraction in terms of abi of the smart contract okay so we have this input and that we have this data type and the name of the day a name is a so this is the one we are passing a we have the another one which is a uad type we have b you can see we have b and here we have the call the get function okay so we have the name of the function you can see here we have the portion we want to return as an output so we want to return the unt so the result okay that's what we want to result and here you can see we have this that's unt okay and here you can see we have this non-payable because this smart contract is not receiving any kind of fund so that's why the state is changed to non-payable okay and we have the type function okay and here you can able to find the state variable we have defined hey and we have all this calculation okay so this is how abi will get generated whenever you deploy a smart contract and this is what exactly run on the blockchain hope this thing's making sense to all of you guys you guys understand that what we are doing exactly okay so let's close this one and simply remove this one because we don't need that one so that's if i if i copy this byte code you will find the same byte codes okay so this is the byte code we have all the data so this is what we have you can easily able to decode this simply remove this one and that's the only thing i want to cover about the function okay so i hope you guys have understood the basic concept that what are the things you can do with the help of the functions there's a lot of things you can do you can build condition build logic which can automatically do certain of things for getting the data for calling certain function for transferring you can do a lot of things okay and we're going to do that in a practical way when we build the real world application using smart contract okay so hope you guys have found this video valuable if you have still any question in doubt do leave in the comment section i'll try to help you in that and if you're new to my channel hit like and subscribe that will motivate me a lot so but that's it i'm ending this video let's move to the next video